welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing another monthly wrap up if you're new to my channel i make digital art videos consider subscribing and liking and commenting your thoughts if you have a favorite drawing and without further ado let's get into the video all right okay so first we're gonna get started with the my hair academia girls this is my first draft of Ochako. I didn't really like it, so I just made another one. Okay. Okay, so this was the finished version. I just loved all the pink. I think it really suits her. I know she's not, I guess, materialistic, so to say, because she's super broke, but I feel like this outfit really shows her in a way. Okay, so next was Mina, and I just want to draw Mina with some really nice shoes in the tracksuit. That was my basic idea. Everything on her cost $500 or more. Okay. Okay, here's the final version. I love, love, love the way the colors came out. At first, I was going to give her a supreme look, but I just really like her natural blue, green, and purple combination, and I just thought it just suited her very nicely. Okay, so Sui is um, fairy core, and I think that her theme of being part of nature and her being a frog really goes well with that. So I just really want to draw her in a really cute outfit. She's already very, very cute. She is my favorite female character in My Hero Academia. So I um, just want to draw her in a really adorable outfit filled with nature theme ornaments. Okay, this is the final version. It looks, I absolutely love it. I tried to incorporate a little bit of her costume into the outfit. If you look at her hero costume, you can see these two little stripes. Oh no, I tried. Okay, so this is Momo. And Momo, I just want her to look super fancy, super rich, and a lot of beige. And uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the final version of Momo. I think she looks absolutely amazing. I love her outfit. I want to say I love her outfit the most, but I think I love Kyoto's the most. Um, I just love the way everything came out. She looks very, just very cool, very unbothered, but like really fashionable and intelligent at the same time. I feel all things that really reflect Momo's character in this show. And also she looks very, very rich. Look at all that bling. All right. Okay, so this was my Kyoto. Her bangs are way too short, but um, I just want to incorporate some jewelry, some striped shirts, and ripped jeans. Um, when I searched up grunge, these were basically the things I found, so I just mashed them up all into one outfit. Okay, this is the final version. I absolutely love it. The little accents of red around her belt and these wristbands she's got going on. I think those look really really nice i just love the way the red pops out and she has red in her hero costume so i think it just complements and just splits away from all the purple and all the blue and i just think it looks really really nice all right so that's about it for the my hero academia girls they were a big part of what i did this month i was supposed to make two videos but i didn't finish editing the second one so um momo sui and jiro are all from the video i didn't publish okay so now we're gonna get into the other drawings of the month and yeah okay so here we are okay so first one is a mina fan art i just want to recontextualize her outfit her hero costume into something else i guess Okay, here's the finished version. You can see all the inspiration, the fur, the tan, the patterns. I just wanted to incorporate each element of her costume into just a really cool outfit. I don't know. I don't know what I was going for with the outfit, but I just wanted to use every single element of her outfit. Costume here, costume. Okay, um, this is this was just very, very random. Watermelon girl. Um I don't know what to say about this drawing. She's literally supposed to be a watermelon. I don't... Just juicy, I guess. I don't know what to say. Like, yeah, she looks really pretty. Very 
cool refreshing so yeah okay so this was my e-girl redraw and my e-girl was my second video on my channel i think i don't know but i drew her long long time ago and i just wanted to redraw her again with some new skill sets i have adapted so yeah here she goes okay so as you can see i kept some of her core elements such as her hair her eyes and her jewelry but i did change up her outfit a little bit and i just wanted to kind of break out of the black and the pink that she's wearing in the first drawing i just wanted to give her a lot of bright colors but still keep that e-girl vibe i still didn't know what i was thinking when i was designing her but i think she came out really beautifully and i'm glad i was able to recapture that again okay so this drawing was just yet another kind of exercise i want to draw someone who's wearing really bright beautiful colors so yeah and basically what i was thinking when i was drawing this was i wanted a lot of textures in her overalls and her shirt in the background and i just want her to look like she's sitting outside on a bright summer day just enjoying the sun okay so i know this is a little explicit but this was for a draw this in your style and i just really like the character so i want to give it a try myself um let me cover these <laughs> i'm just kidding all right so um this is the pink version which is the one i ended up submitting to the draw this in your style contest um i just really really dig the character and i want to just give it a try i'll have the artist's name below all right so you might recognize this beautiful gal this is um eggplant girl i was gonna say cucumber but yeah she looks gorgeous all that she looks amazing i love i love her design okay so this was actually the video i was supposed to make instead of eggplant girl but i failed the recording session so i just finished drawing her it's basically just cotton candy and stuff you know imagine her hair is just one big blob of cotton candy and you can take a bite out of it i don't know <laughs> okay this one was one of my favorites i just wanted to draw someone who's just very calm just very beautiful at the same time and i want to try a different face structure i guess to, so to say i don't know fashion okay this is how it came out and you can see my inspiration picture right there i think she's absolutely gorgeous i love i've been using the blonde and pink combination a lot this month and i just really really love it and I just wanted to try to go for a more realistic style. And I've been loving using textures on shirts and on clothing items. And giving my characters golden eyes. Every single character has had golden eyes. So yeah, I think it just looks very beautiful. Okay, this one was actually something else I was supposed to make a video for. Um, strawberry milk, I think. Yeah, and I just... I. I messed up the recording so I just finished the drawing again and it's just two girls looking cute while drinking strawberry milk Ugh, a lot of gay shit this month okay anyways here they are they look very very gorgeous look at those hair details I think they look stunning very beautiful I really like how everything came out especially their different shirts even though there's a lot of the same colors I want to try to differentiate everything you know so yeah okay and now we're getting into the realm of wait there's one more okay this drawing is my most recent video easter bunnies it's just some girls looking really cute there's been a lot of there's a lot of um uh female couples this month but yeah they're just looking really nice i don't know if they're best friends or something else but they're going to an easter festival i don't know in their world the pandemic doesn't exist so yeah really nice stuff okay and finally we're getting into the realm of the unfinished sketches i think there's only about four so yeah all right that's it for the month of march let me know what you think which one is your favorite you know all that good stuff all right um i think i'm gonna go now goodbye subscribe have a nice day <laughs>